All right, guys. I am no good at math whatsoever. I'm actually quite terrible. So what we're going to do today is I'm actually going to pull up some math problems on my phone, and we're going to try and solve them on the board with no help from the calculator. It's going to be terrible. <laughs> it's going to be awful. Okay, so let's get right into it, guys. Let's check out some math problems. Let's have some fun. It says, a company donates 935 pencils to a school. The pencils are divided evenly among nine classrooms. The rest of the pencils are given to the library. How many pencils were donated to each classroom and to the library? Oh, wow. So you have 935 pencils. Okay, so that's where we're going to start. And they have to divide evenly into nine classrooms. Oh, my God. I don't even know how to do long division anymore. Since I don't know how to do long division, we're going to have to do it a completely different way. A completely different way. So I'm just going to take the nine... And I'm going to keep multiplying 9 until I get the closest I can to 935. So 9 times 10 is obviously going to give me 900. 9 times 3 is 27. So we have 9, 18, 27. We have a total of 927. 13 classrooms we can divide 935 pencils into, and then we're gonna have to give. So nine times 13 is gonna give us 927. Okay, we're gonna take 935 minus 927. So let's just cross out the nines. I also don't know how to do subtraction like this anymore. Okay, calculators have gotten way too easy to use and I hate myself right now because I didn't realize how stupid I was until I made this video. So 35 minus 27, let's pretend like we know so we're gonna have to carry a one. So this becomes 15, this becomes, shoot, this becomes two, right? So now it's 15 minus seven, which is eight. And we have two minus two, which is zero. So is it eight? It is eight. Holy moly. So the answer to our question is we can give them evenly to 13 classrooms. Wait, nine classrooms get 13 pencils a piece? That doesn't make any sense. What's happening? Guys, it's not. I did it wrong from the start. Mm hmm. Yeah, in order to get 900, we have to do nine times 100. That's going to give us 900. So it's actually 103. So, okay, that makes sense. I get it now. I get it now. Okay, so 103 pencils per classroom, and then eight pencils left over for the library. Boom. We got it. <laughs> that took. That was way too hard. That was way too hard. And excuse my re my. Re eraser but not excuse it at all so yeah that's the answer to that question let's go on to the next one it says here the city park is nine and two-fifths miles from Roland Elementary School the city library is three and three-tenths miles from the same school how much further from the school is the park than the library? What is happening in this question right now? That's a Chinese symbol. That's probably not even a Chinese symbol. And that is nine and two fifths, three and three tenths. Gosh darn it. Okay, so this is the park. We are good. We're good now. Guys, this takes me way too long just to think about the problem, let alone actually know how to do it on a worksheet in fifth grade. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. Nine. We're going to not do the two-fifths or anything right now. 
So we're going to do 9 minus 3. Obviously, that's going to give us 6. So we know that it's 6 in some change, right? Am I doing this wrong? I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to do fractions. How do you do fractions? I think this video was a mistake. I know what we're probably not supposed to do this, but I'm going to do it because I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want, okay? If it makes me feel less stupid, it is. So we're going to take two-fifths, which equals 40%. Okay? That's how we're going to do it. Is 30%. So it's going to be 30%. So it turns out that this park... Six and a half hours late. ...is six and one-tenth of a mile further. And I know this because I did the math. <laughs> This is what I'm coming up with, right here. I'm gonna do one more problem and that's it because I feel so stupid right now. Six miles and one tenth. Six and one tenth of a mile. What, what kind of fifth grader is gonna need to know that? I don't even care, I don't even care. Oh wait, I have the answers right here. I'm right, I'm actually right. I'll show you guys that I'm right. We're gonna do this one really quick, but it's kind of silly. So it says Rhonda ate three eighths of a pizza. So this is Rhonda's pizza, okay? And then we have Marvin. He ate one fourth of a pizza. You can't reduce that. This is not a stupid problem, is it? I was being serious about this. So here we're gonna make a pizza. We're gonna split it into eighths. Okay, so she ate that much. Okay, and it says here, Marvin ate one-fourth of the same pizza. If he ate one-fourth, we're gonna fill his one-fourth in right now. Rhonda, Rhonda ate this much because she's freaking a pig. This is both of theirs combined, by the way, because Marvin only ate this much. So Marvin ate that much, but Rhonda ate this much, so we're filling hers in two. So it turns out that they ate five eighths, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So she ate five, oh crap, five eighths. That was the problem? Was that the problem? Yeah, five eighths, guys. Look at that! I'm not so stupid after all. I'm kind of stupid considering I didn't know how to add fractions, but I did, however, figure out a way to do it with our pies, our pizza pies. You remember the cap for this marker that I dropped at like the beginning of this video? I can't find it anywhere and there is nothing around. They're, like, my floor is clean, clean, and I still can't find the tip of this marker. Oh, I found it. It was in my pocket. Now it's got pocket lint on it. Thank you for watching me try to do some math and hanging out with me while I figure out if I'm smarter than a fifth grader. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. You can check me out on Instagram and Snapchat. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. And I'm going to see you next time. Peace out.